Hello everybody, this is the recap of today's Bund, Monday the 29th of July 2019. So only three days left in this July, in this month, and we see first my to morning hypos. Number one was initial loss levels for the range and further 29 and 22. Hypo 2, if acceptance above upper pre-market H volume edge, high volume edge, Look for long with increasing buying volume at the overnight high and holding. Means this would be like the open drive or open test drive, where we look then for the holding or pullback with increasing volume at the overnight high. And hypo three was if value below the 22. We look then if market look entering the short of Friday's main value with targets 12 and further. So this here re-entering and low. And also here the long levels, the 29, 28 level, enter, re entering. And then with the open drive possibility at the, at the overnight high with increasing volume pullback and then entering to the long. Let's see how market then develops. Again, the pre-market already started with my hypo number one as testing this 2789 level and see that the market didn't get lower. With the open then, market directly drive to the overnight high without a pullback. So this means this is now the open drive scenario. If an increase of volume with pullback and increase again, or increase of volume, pullback and holding structure, or increase of volume making higher highs, higher highs, and then pulling back and holding with absorption, so this kind of three possible scenarios, visualizations, what then the long could look like. What happened then? Market increased the volume at this moment, pulled back to this at the moment volume edge, the POC, and bam, increases volume again. With this at the momentum, start trade long, I entered at the 46 area and my trade went into three, four ticks into the profit. That doesn't mean anything, but for my stop handling, this means that this impulse phase number one has started right after my open, which gives me the chance now to re uh, to tighten up my stop from the 42 to the 43 area. Sorry from the 40, no, from the 42 to the 43, which I did. Market then get bad and test it. And I give the trade the chance to see if this area of lower volume is a base level for absorption. Because remember, I'm in this trade with a cheap price. People, other, other time frame traders also a little in this trade I don't know how many other time frame traders these are, but I can see at least some heavy buying with the first impulse and then here and setback and now a little bit absorption and also re-entering with buy. So give this trade its, breathe, its uh, air with its need to breathe. At this moment, then I got stopped out if, uh, because no more absorption happened. And now, which I didn't play, but would, what one could have played with the pullback, but the pullback didn't appear, what the chance for the short now? With the probability that that test the open range low again. Because this is then the open rejection reverse means when the open drive or open test drive fails with the approach of longs and high increasing volume at the overnight high, one can go then and switch for the short side. As I'm a trader who, when it's in a trade, only taken the next trade when first my brain is fast enough for the transition from long to short, or if I wasn't in the first trade, going then into it directly. Or a third, I always want to have some cheap price. 
Today, market give me the opportunity, did not give me the opportunity for a pullback for re-entering cheap. So no running after this trade because my first was lucrative and for the second I wasn't quick enough and the price then didn't give me the chance. So then just look what happens. We're testing the low, some people selling into it and got absorbed. Some people selling into it and got absorbed. So that means 37, 38 level, the 37, 38 level is already some passive bulls activity zone. Nothing more. Fast rise again to the upside, but didn't make it to the high and got rejected quick. No play then for me, no double rejection, no cheap price neither. Now look, now price, people sell, but price doesn't go lower than the Wii weapon at the moment POC. A, a sign of some strength of the bulls because the range wasn't played or the prospect of a range wasn't given then. I said at this moment I'm not gonna look for a second chance for entry into the range short because of this signs of strength. No trading back, absorption holding here and now look at the delta absorption again at a much higher level. A lot of pressure, some kind of pressure again. People trapped in the short, pop, as now triggering those stops, boom, higher price. This is the moment when the bigger short-term traders getting liquidity for their range shorts and they play in a wonderful and this time price made at least with pulling the stops, re-entering the shorts, made at least six, seven ticks. I wasn't in it because this all could have also been not short-term liquidity fishing and preparation, but also some, again, another try to play a higher high and making a long continuation chance. At this moment, we already see as price was rejected very quick again at the level of 42, 41. One should be reminded that this was the level of absorption from before. And look at the profile. The profile more and more see a capture, a profile that is now turning a little bit to a bullish imbalance, which means People now more trying at buying at this level. And this was the moment where I went into then my second trade with the first absorption and second absorption I entered at the 49. This is not the best cheap entry one could get here. No, I could I can get because I always try to get in within a two ticks distance to the top area. Top area when talking of a range short. So having this at the 52, my preferred price would be the 50. As I didn't get the 50, I'm also always allowed to then get it with the three tick distance. Always knowing that this increases my stop. All right. My stop is normally about two tick above the extreme in Bund. This is only for Bund, very important. 52 to 54. In this case, because I didn't get the cheapest price, but I also didn't want to risk too much in terms of risk reward, I leave my stop at the 53, which was totally okay for me, which then is only okay after the second search of, of, um, for liquidity from the market participants, that got stopped out. And that happens. But then it's important to stay clear in mind, which I did. And because of I did, you see 
what you may not have seen in the moment when you're in a revenge trading mode or something other from your emotions. But I did, I see that, I saw that he was then with this rejection, this very quick rejection. You see this in Delta and here in the volume. That this is a totally clear sign that this was just fishing, stock fishing for liquidity. Which obviously happened to me as I was stopped out. One was happy to get the contract or the contracts here for me and re-enter the short. I saw this quick rejection and knew that this is now a good opportunity for a fast range short as they got their liquidity and will play it now more aggressively to short. And that happens then. The problem was, this day was about to become, as we see then later in the, in the, in the morning till 12 o'clock till noon, that this will become a low vola day, volatility low day. That was a tight range and the range was about to tighten up. As one who trades with a strategy and a plan knows that there are always, for me at the range, two targets. First, the at the moment POC, I show you here, which was obviously the 43, is my target one, which I need to be reach for my risk reward calculation and for my strategy and for my for the mathematics then to work for me. And the second target would be then for more, trading with more contracts, the 38 level or with more lots. And see what happened. Neither was reached, no level, 43 not, and not 38. They already changed direction at the 44 and even at 44, one would not got filled with it because they only trade one contract at the 44 and then getting rejected quite aggressive, quite fast, and also with passive support in the bid, appearing this 500 contracts at the 40, 46 level or 400. Level. Back to the chart. So that means that I was able after impulse phase one started and even a second drive to the downside to now pull my stop from minus four to three and then to zero to my entry level because now again understand in trading it's a game of mathematics of statistics one needs to have most of the time trades that reach in at least your t1 my first target to measure risk reward and know that then i have an edge with an edge in my place and my strategy to make money so i let I put my stop to zero, but of course, unfortunately here, as the day become then a very low volatility day and with a tight range, I got stopped out again. That means at this time I was paid, I didn't risk anything anymore and just didn't get paid by the market. But I also didn't risk any more um, minus ticks because this wasn't necessary as the market already showed me from its behavior that it's not about to reach but now tighten up. As I didn't get then another trade and I see that this is tightened up at this moment, I decided because of this risk reward getting worse and worse this day, not to trade anymore. I quit trading because of this, of this, um, of this things, of this facts. Even though I had some, had some room, till was able from my risk management and loss management, I did not reach the daily allowed loss. But I decided because of this week, of this week sign here, that they even reached my target one. That means a high probability that now with the ongoing time, the market will even tighten up more. All right. I hope you understand what I mean. That's the moment what a good trader also knows. Do I have to risk even money in a market where the market mood, mood is not good anymore? And that's the case. And look what happens. Oh my God. 
tight, 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 tightens up, tightens up, tightens up. Is this okay to call this a tight range now? We are only seeing in volume, you only see a very tight range and you see how it tightens up. See how this distribution builds more and more volume only around the area from 46 to 48 with the main distribution. So that's why then I decided to end my trading for today. And if you're trading a second session then later, maybe in the afternoon with the US session with more maybe liquidity expected coming in, do this. But also be sure that you're making clear-minded decisions and not based emotional. So that's it. Thank you for watching and listening. This is Anton Hopfel for Monopoly Trading. Happy learning and happy trading. Bye.